The Buffalo Bills are coming off another win here over the New England Patriots in Buffalo, 27-21. to Although they haven't really blown out their opponents over the past two weeks, beating the Chargers 24-22, to and then the Patriots 27-21, to the Buffalo Bills are actually planning something absolutely terrifying right now that I don't think anyone is really starting to, you know, understand. Now, if you guys have any knowledge about the NBA, last season, the Miami Heat were one of the worst regular season teams in the NBA, but end up making the NBA Finals. Now, the Buffalo Bills are not nearly the worst team or worst regular season team in the NFL. However, everyone is sleeping on their ability to absolutely go on a run right now, and I don't really know why. And I think this is setting up perfectly for a massive playoff run. Now, in this video, I want to break down some film here on Josh Allen, but more importantly, why this Bills team has what it takes to absolutely shock the world this season. Before we jump into the film, though, guys, do me a big favor as we see Josh Allen making a great play here, stepping up when there's pressure coming on from the C gap, steps up and gets a big carry over the middle of the, the field. But let me know in the comments down below, do you think the Buffalo Bills are prepared to go on a major playoff run or are they just setting up for a disappointing uh, playoffs once again? Um, but they play the Miami Dolphins. It's going to be a big game in Miami coming up. What do you think the score will be? Comment down below your prediction. And here we go. Let's jump right into some film. Now, my main reasoning saying the Buffalo Bills can go on a major playoff run is because of how their defense has been playing. And we all know they traded for Azul Douglas at the trade deadline, and he has been absolutely amazing for him. On this play, we're going to get some pre-snap motion here by number one here for the Patriots. Now, what we see is nobody's crossing the formation. Usually, if this was man-to-man, -man, you would see Azul Douglas actually cross the formation. Now, instead, we're going to have a zone coverage. Now, but I want you guys to read Razul Douglas here. You see how he's just reading the quarterback's eyes here? Yeah, this is perfect. So we're going to get a quick flat here by Farrell Brown, and then we're going to get a quick little hitch route here by the tight end, Mike Jasicki. But the whole time, when you play zone coverage, your responsibility is to read the quarterback's eyes and make a play on the football. This is what exactly what Razul Douglas does. Boom, we get a short intermediate route. By the tight end, ball gets deflected in the air because Rizul Douglas was doing his job, reading the quarterback's eyes, and got an opportunity and a great interception here by the defensive lineman. Man, this is how you play good football, and this is why a lot of people were, uh, you know, not Buffalo Bills fans, but a lot of people outside of Buffalo were saying, you know, Rizul Douglas wasn't worth trading for. Yeah, he is. He's been absolutely nasty for them, especially in this game making a big play there but like I said the reason why this team is going to go places is because this defense I do believe Josh Allen needs to play a little bit better but I know he can let's jump into the next play guys before we get any further into this video before we break down the next play I want you guys to do me a major favor hit that like button just so we can help get the video out to more Bills fans around the world now I do apologize I haven't covered the Bills too much this season but now that they're starting to roll I see exactly what they're doing so with that being said I'm gonna start posting some more Bills videos as long as you guys are enjoying the content if you guys are enjoying the content to let me know hit that like button subscribe if you're new it's free you don't have to pay anything and you can be notified every time we post a Bills video but also comment down below saying more film that will will let me know that one you guys like the film breakdowns but two you guys want to see more now in this video I'm actually really talking about the defense um, but if you want to see the full offensive breakdown make sure you comment down below more film or defensive film down below once the all coaches 22 film drops I will be covering this game for the Bills I promise you guys but if this video gets up to 300 likes I'll post it quicker than I would if it doesn't obviously um, but also check out Underdog Fantasy. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Basically, giving you guys free money, man. I put my pickums on my community tab every single day, man. Let's win some money. Let's make some money. But let's get back into the film. All right, here we go. Another play. We just talked about Razul Douglas. Let's look at him again. Look how he's never taking his eyes off the quarterback. This is really, really good. This is something you want to do. You always want to look at the quarterback to see where the football is coming. Now, here we go. What we're going to see here is a quick slant by the wide receiver. We're going to get motion and swings out to this side, trying to isolate this one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now, Bailey Zappi 
probably knows this is man to man and since you see 25 going this way he's probably going to be in man coverage you see 23 back turn to this side of the field leaving you know Rizul Douglas on an absolute island but watch how he never takes his eyes off the quarterback boom even when Bailey Zappi's looking right he is still prepared for a throw his way this is what makes Rizul Douglas better than so many other cornerbacks in the NFL and here we go he's going to just simply jump the route because he knew from the start that he was going to be isolated on this play especially when you see that pre-snap motion here by demario douglas coming from the backfield over this way he knows this the the concept here is to try to isolate him on an island especially with the safety turn with 25 trending into the other side of the field here they know this is a one-on-one -on -one, and bailey zappi was actually reading this linebacker once he saw this linebacker start rotating to the left side of the field he knows he's got this one-on-one -on -one coverage and you know a lot of quarterbacks will take this all day long but when you go out against Rizul douglas man definitely be careful this dude is a ball hawk okay again guys we talked about Rizul douglas already a couple of times this game well let's talk about him again we're gonna get some pre-snap motion here by demario douglas now what this shows us and what we know right away this is clearly zone coverage he is falling a little bit, but you see how he drops back into what seems to be a zone. Looks like he's going to cover this side of the field. Now, watch up top. This is, again, you got off coverage here by Rizal Douglas. But I really want to show you guys is 23. He's, uh, he's coming off the edge here trying to attack the C-gap. We're going to see Zeke actually plug up the B-gap here, allowing 23 to get off the edge wide open to the, to the quarterback. Now, what we're going to have here is a deeper slant by this wide receiver. But again, Rizal Douglas is reading the quarterback's eyes i mean this is different different level of football iq right here drops back pressure coming when you can get pressure on the quarterback it can create you know one of five things a bad throw a bad decision an interception a sack a forced fumble but in this scenario not only does it showcase a bad throw um, a bad decision but also an interception as well gets into his face just chucks it up to his deep uh you know wide receiver here who's actually on a 10 yard slant instead of a five yard slant which that's what bailey zappi thought he was running instead Rizul douglas reads it the whole way down and comes up with an interception once again guys this is different level of football by not only Rizul douglas but the entire defense man this is what makes me think that they have the opportunity the you know the belief the confidence in themselves that they can win a ton of football games and listen i understand the patriots aren't the best team in the nfl but when you can cons consistently force the ball or turn over the ball and give your offense more possessions you're gonna win football games again watch 23 watch how they send an overload blitz to the middle of the b gap a gap here forcing zeke in allowing pressure off the edge you got one-on-one -on -one coverage here Rizul douglas and the wide receiver if Rizul makes a bad play here this could be a touchdown to the wide receiver instead we get a beautiful play by 23 getting off the edge forcing a bad throw i cannot wait until the all coaches 22 film drop so i can break this defense down but just an amazing play here by the defense guys please comment down below give Rizul douglas a grade a plus to f whatever you think he's been throughout this time here in buffalo but wow man he has been shocking okay and another thing that makes the bills defense so versatile this is actually gonna be the last play breakdown because i want to wait until the all coaches 22 film drops if you guys want that video comment down below more film and i'll show you maybe the offensive side plus the defensive side as well Just comment down below more film but what i want to show you on this play is their ability to not only defend the pass but stop the run as well they currently rank as a top 10 rush defense in the top 10 pass defense overall a number the number four defense in the entire nfl and just you know allowing points but they also rank um defensively number two in sack percentage and number seven in interception percentage as well but what i want to show you on this play is leonard floyd numbers 56 here what we're going to have is a run to the right side of the formation towards Leonard Floyd. We're going to have one, two, three, four guys blocking here up front. And Leonard Floyd does such an amazing job having a false step out and then bouncing inside to that B gap and absolutely demoralizing the right tackle here, getting into the backfield on run. Ready? Boom. We've got a false step left. We go right absolutely get right in between there i mean what a great first step by leonard floyd we got edge pressure coming off this side which allows him not to be able to bounce back out so now he's got one-on-one -on -one with number 56 56 you know a decent pursuit angle right 
Decent pursuit angle. Love to see it. Wraps him up from the back. Well, we also have 50 coming this way. We got, you know, pressure coming off everywhere else. We got beach balls flying everywhere. And what a great tackle in the backfield. This is what makes this defense so special. And guys, like I said, if you want to see more film, offensive film from this game, and we see here Josh Allen dropping back in the pocket, firing a dot, a quick little dig route here by Gabe Davis. If we want to see this entire film review for the offense as well, comment down below offensive film. But man, this is making me excited for the playoffs because I think everyone, everyone is sleeping on what the Buffalo Bills are starting to do. And I get it. Listen, they have not won their games by a wide margin versus some bad teams with the Chargers and the Patriots. But man, listen, they got a big game coming up against Miami. If they win this game, they're going to walk into the playoffs with extremely high momentum and the utmost confidence to be able to win it all this season. Now, comment down below what you think. Do you think they have the opportunity to do so? Or do you think, like I said before, they'll eventually, you know, fall and then have another upsetting playoff run here in 2024? Um, happy New Year, by the way. But man, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.